What's good, YouTube? I got another banger for y'all today. Today, we're going to talk about the Green Machine badge, whether you should equip it or not, and what level. But hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit them post notes too. We're going to get right into it. And we actually going to compare the Green Machine badge to the Volume Shooter badge. So I know those two badges might be the last couple badges that you actually equip. And I'm gonna let y'all I'm gonna let y'all know what levels you want to put those on and which one you actually would want to go with. Not even gonna hold you, so we're gonna get right into it. And the first thing I want to say about the green machine badge is green machine activates on your first green, bro. As you can see right here on my first shot, first green, green machine activated immediately. The second green, second shot, green machine activated again. So Green Machine is not like it was in the past where you had the green twice in a row to get it to activate. Then sometimes you wouldn't even see it activate. Bruh, I honestly see Green Machine activating on all my shots, bruh, on all my greens. If you don't green it, it's not going to light up. But I feel like you might still get a, a boost to your slight leads because it do seem like I'm hitting slight leads. And, and uh, yeah, 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 I'm definitely hitting slight leads. A little bit more with the green machine badge and one thing that people might have steered you wrong on was letting you know what level to put green machine on so green machine it's actually th the best bruh at hall of fame obviously but gold is where you get that big jump from silver so a lot of people recommending silver a lot of people recommending even bronze bruh i've been going bronze on green machine because I was already shooting consistently and everything so i really didn't see a problem but i see when i when i don't time my shot perfect bruh i actually was missing whites bruh and depending on what jump shot base you got on how big your green window is if your green window is smaller bruh you definitely want to go with the green machine badge bruh so green machine actually open your green window on slightly earlies if you notice in this video bruh you will not see one slightly early and it's because the green machine badge bruh it's turning them all into greens the slightly lates you will see some slightly lates and those still gonna hit the green machine it seemed like it's still boosting your percentage though bruh for real for real because the slightly lates is still hitting and the slightly earlies it, it, bro, it's just no slightly earlies you feel me and the sniper badge sniper is a boost to your early green window too but sniper is more for your whole green window the early window the a little close to the middle but the late green window too green machine is seem like it's specifically bruh for the early window and again bruh activate on the first shot so in previous years on 2K, the green machine badge only activated if you got two greens in a row or three greens in a row. And then sometimes it really didn't even activate, bro. Honestly, so you could get two greens in a row and you feel me on 2K21, you might not even see the green machine badge light up. But well, that's pretty much why everybody started putting it at silver. And that's pretty much what started the trend. Then we brought it into this year, but you feel me? Not everybody tested out this badge, bro. Not even gonna hold you. You put Green Machine on Gold and Hall of Fame, you're gonna notice a big difference, bro. And that's really what I'm recommending in that, bro. I'm not no longer recommending Green Machine at Bronze or Silver. You do still get a small boost, bro. You do still get a small boost. But what I think it was is a lot of people just didn't trust the badge because they didn't know how it activated, bro. But I'm letting y'all know right now <laughs> you feel me bruh green machine is gonna activate on every green bruh for some reason i didn't notice that when it was on bronze bruh like i bruh i did not see green machine activating this much but at the same time i didn't green this much when i had it on bronze and even right even with a high three ball even with a lot of badges bruh i still bruh i still just wasn't green in every shot like it wasn't it wasn't that i didn't know my shot because you feel me i could i could time my shot perfect and green a lot for maybe a couple a couple games then i probably have a couple games where i'm not greening as much but i'm hitting a lot of slightlies bro you throw this green machine badge on and you're gonna see so many more greens bro i'm not even gonna hold you 
put it up to gold bro put it up to gold and just try that out i went gold because i know not everybody get hall of fame you need a 97 three ball to get hall of fame green machine or a 97 mid and nobody really got a 97 mid bro not even gonna hold you unless you got 99 mid for 90 for the uh, hall of fame blinders and everything but this badge putting it on golden hall of fame it, bro it's really gonna let you shoot a higher percentage from anywhere bro really be able to green from anywhere shooting sh hall of fame chef shots greening bro and honestly your your green window your percentage is is taking a hit when you out there in chef range and limitless spot up range bro this green machine badge is literally bro it's like high zone hunter bro not even gonna hold you it's like high zone hunter and everything is a hot zone honestly it's a fire badge bro you definitely got to try it on gold or hall of fame again but something else we're gonna talk about is the volume shooter badge so i did compare the volume shooter to the green machine badge and they really not even as much play style badges bro it's really just about whether you could green or not and if you can't green consistently i think you should then throw the volume shooter badge on so the volume shooter badge is going to give you a boost at your six or seven shot it's really going to give you a small boost before that but the boost don't really get big until your six or seven shot and the thing about green machine is it's activating on your first shot and giving you a huge boost on your first shot and every shot literally everything that you green it's a big difference from the volume shooter honestly if you can't green though then you just gotta go with the volume shooter you could definitely choose something else but if you can't green it really wouldn't be a point of going with the green machine at the same time bro green machine is gonna make you green bro like bro yo the badge is so fire when you put it up high and that's really what was wrong bro yo a lot of people just didn't have the badge up high enough so they thought green machine was garbage and honestly bro i fell into that category too bro <laughs> you feel me i thought green machine was trash this year but bro <laughs> yo i'm telling you you definitely got to boost that up but according to your play style like if you just gotta go volume shooter one bad thing about volume shooter i would say is if you not hitting your shots even even if you get to to the to the six shot like like bro if you take seven shots with green machine versus volume shooter and everything green machine you're gonna see you're gonna be green in all seven bro <laughs> for, for a fact bro it's actually seven for seven you feel me versus the volume shooter you might miss before you even get to the seventh shot so especially because you're not gonna be green in them so if you shoot uh if you shoot a white a green a white you could miss after that green machine bruh you get a couple greens in there it's, it's gonna keep your percentage higher and y'all know how the momentum go in 2k whatever team got the momentum it seemed like the attributes is boosted a, a little higher bruh and if you cold you know your attributes is going down but i'm not sure if y'all know but bruh your attributes actually go down before you get the snowflake so you don't even got to be cold for your attributes to be going down if you miss a shot or two like that's one thing with going with the volume shooter badge if you miss a shot or two your attributes is gonna go down slightly bro versus the green machine where if you make three shots in a row your attributes is literally gonna go up slightly like bro you're gonna get a plus two and everything bro like before you even get your takeover so y'all know takeovers is plus plus eight and everything you gonna get like a plus two to like your shooting stats and everything bro i know a lot of y'all might have went into into the uh into the roster settings and everything in previous years bro even in this year you feel me if y'all still playing head up in 2k y'all could see the attributes bro if you playing with regular teams like if you playing with the the uh the nets versus the lakers or something you feel me bro you you can you can hit start go to your substitutions and you see you get you, you see the plus with a green triangle bro on somebody three ball putting it from maybe a b minus to a b plus and everything bro that's just simply not because of takeover because they don't be having a takeover it's just how 2k work you feel me 
they don't be having a takeovers but when you get a little hot your attributes do go up a little bit and the green machine badge is just gonna make your attributes go up a little bit because you're gonna be hitting your shots so the last thing i want to let y'all know about the green machine versus volume shooter is volume shooter on gold is actually worth less points than green machine on gold volume shooter on gold is worth three badge points green machine on gold is worth four unless you got a 94 or higher mid-range bruh then that actually take your green machine down to worth three points on gold and at the same time bruh gold green machine is still way better than gold volume shooter bruh not even gonna hold you so 2k really was showing us that the green machine is actually better than volume shooter because it's worth more points on gold than volume shooter is so 2k probably convinced a few people to go with the volume shooter gold versus the green machine and bro you definitely don't want to do that gold volume shooter don't even give you the biggest boost you feel me we gonna get we gonna get into the volume shooter real soon but i hope i helped y'all out don't forget to hit that like button hit that sub button and hit them post notice